Hi, I'm Scott. And I'm Oscar. And together we are the Gin Influencers at UK. The gin we're trying today is Berkshire British Morello Cherry Gin. That's quite hard to say. Well done, well yeah. done. So distilled with nine botanicals, including Norway spruce, which we always seem to like, and infused with British Morello cherries. Yes. That's what this gin so is. This, this is what it is. We've tried by these before. We're going through the whole lot. So the Atterton Estate, where Berkshire Botanicals Gin is created, is one of the largest Christmas tree growers in the UK, which gets him really excited because he's literally Mr. Christmas. Oh, it comes in a 50 centilitre bottle with an ABV of 40.3% for £21, which is a good price. That's a really, really good price. So we have reviewed this one here. I mistakenly opened that one because I didn't know what I was doing. Um, so we will be bringing you the rest of them. But yeah. Story of your life, really. So as always, we're trying it neat first. Now... The person behind this is Johnny Neal, at who and Johnny Neal is kind of like, you know, he's gin he, royalty. He is yeah. important in the you industry. Know, he's very, very important. If you if you know the surname Neal, it's got a lot to do with gin distilling. Um, and we met him at the Whiskey and Gin Live show. That's right, yeah. And he was a really, really nice man, and we had a really lovely chat. Hopefully one day he'll be in the gin room doing yeah. some videos with us. You're struggling there. Could we go back to struggling? You're struggling again. Right. So really excited by this one. I love cherry. And we're going to use, look, we're going to use our posh cherries. These are the expensive ones. Very expensive ones. Very, Very expensive, expensive ones. Only special occasions get them out. There we go. Oh, and it has a lovely hue to it. It has a, actually a proper colour. A hue, hue. Oh, that was straight. That was a bit cakey. <laughs> Yes, even, I know. Even the cat says so. Yeah, I think this is going. I think this is one that's got to be a mixer to release lots of stuff out. Because, like you know, cherries cherries are can be quite tart as well. And the cats, the cats, the cats agreeing. Um, so he's now wanting to get up. Here we go. Right. That is an overpoweringly cherry. It's a completely cherry. No, but it isn't. It doesn't linger. It's, it still comes through with the, 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 the piney juniper. still mm. comes through on that while you're doing well, you, that. Yeah, you put, you put the ice in the glass. You know that it's definitely gin and it's alcohol. Go and then the balls. got big balls. <laughs> uh, said the actress to the bishop. Um, but no, this, this is, yeah. It's definitely tart. It's weird. There's a sweetness there's and a sweetness and a tartness, tartness there. And there's a very what do you think? juniper and a stone. He's just underage. Hey, <clears throat> the cat's ears, he can do it. But I'm sorry, I've got, I've got to put you over mm. here. Right, there we go. I really like it. Preparation. Oops. What, 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 hello? Excuse Preparation. me. Yeah, so I've... Um, what did he do? What haven't you done? Well, I forgot to get the measure. <laughs> I've got the measure out. But luckily I've got, I've got a measure, so I like, just have to do it like this. Like it would matter. Like it matters. That's how you can tell that we're raw. It's fine, Oscar. Okay. Don't worry about it. Don't let me tell you off. Wow. God, it seems really weird. It seems really weird doing it like that. That's a single measure, see? Single measure. We've, that very rarely gets used. Well, if well, ever. So it's there, used. That's that's the there. Um, so with this one, I've decided I want to know what it tastes like with different mixers. Mm -hmm. So I'm going... Light tonic, beaver tree. <coughs> oh, that's fizzed up. Very fizzy. And then I'm going with one of my faves, which is the um, Sicilian lemonade. Because I can. That's not as fizzy. <laughs> well, it is still fizzy. Right. So I get to try this one first. Oh, yeah, before, actually, we'll try it before we put the uh, cherries in. Oh, yeah, yeah. Yeah, well, let's try it. All right, cheers. Cheers. Oh, that's more cherry now. But it's grown up cherry. Oh, I don't think I like it with lemonade. Let me try. Do you that. not like it with lemonade? Uh, oh no, I love it with the lemonade. I prefer the tonic. Great, great. Right. Wow, Isn't that weird. But it has made it more cherry. It has made it more cherry. Yeah. But it's it's not. It doesn't taste like artificial cherry. No. It tastes. Oh boy, oh, the posh cherries are out. Oh, the cherries. Look at that. Oh. Okay, you can have one. Oh, trying to fish around for one. Come on. Oh, look, what, there's Come on. there's enough in there. I know, but I'm trying to. There you go. Oh, a little bit of cherry syrup in there as well. There you go. It's garnished now. 
Cheers. Yeah, I definitely prefer it with the Sonic. I, I, like it with, I like it with lemonade. No, it doesn't work for the lemonade. Right, make. Try something <clears throat> I think it's made it more cherry, but I'm getting a little bit more bitterness, sharpness come through. Yeah, it's not it's not a sweet, sickly yeah. one. Which I think is what I think the lemonade has made it a little bit too sweet for me. As in, it's had another sweetness, yeah. as in the lemonade sweetness, whereas I was quite happy with the cherry sweetness. I think I think this this is quite this is quite a tart cherry, mm -hmm. and like we say sometimes with things, we say it's a grown up one. I think it's a grown up kind of fruit gin. Yes, because it isn't like overly sugary, syrupy, and whackings of flavour, flavour, flavour. It's this is one I could continuously drink. Yeah, you know, you yeah. know, it's gin. Yeah. I, I wouldn't feel sick after a few if I was on a, a session. Mm. Yeah. Yeah, but you know, you know it's gin, but it gives you the added element of cherry in there. Mm. But bitter. I am getting weirdly. It's slightly almondy. I'm getting a slight almondy taste. In like there. Well, a, a sort of nuttiness, but not, not nutty nut. Nutty nuts. Nutty nuts. More well, nuts sweet. Nut. No, no, an almond. I'm saying almond. That is a nut. Yeah. An almond nut. A sweet no, nut. An almond a sweet nut. nut. An al something that tastes like an almond. Or almond. Do you say al almond or almond? Almond. Almond. I would normally say <clears> almond. It doesn't matter. People know what you're on about. Mm. Like it matters. Anyway, should we score this? Mm. Mm. Yeah, it's very. It's oh, it's very dry. Tart. I'm getting some nice dryness come through as well there. Thank you. Yeah, it's definitely not a neat drinker for me. Mm. But you know, it's not like I'm going to make a martini out of it because I'm not with that, this style of gin. But I like it. It's different from what I thought. Yeah, even Cat says so. It's different from what I thought it would be. Right, let's score it. Oh, okay. Yeah, yeah. The yeah. ten. I really like it. It doesn't burn, but I have a there's a real sharpness to, to it, Nee. And yeah, I, oh, yeah. I, I there's like there's no, it. There's no burn there at all. Mm -mm. Um, yeah, very enjoyable. All right. All right. Well, stay tuned to see the rest of the, the ones that we've got coming. Don't forget to drink responsibly now. Don't forget to like and subscribe. Do that. Drop us a comment if you had any of those. Do that. And we'll see you in the next video. Cheers. 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 Thank you. Cheers, Cherry Man. Mmm. Mmm. And before we go, we just got to say that is a nice looking little badger on there. Look at that. Oh, we like That's badgers, fantastic. don't we? We like, yeah, we, we do don't like badgers. badgers. We've, we've not, we've not had, we've not met a bad badger yet. There you go. <laughs> Cheers. Cheers.